What is up, everybody? I'm Jared. I'm back with some of my favorite MLB picks for Price Picks today. <clears throat> if you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way, you know that you're following along with the picks. Also, helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every day, every single day for baseball. And if you're not currently playing on Price Picks and you want to give that site a try, if you sign up there using promo code WinDaily, get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Premium, get you access to our Discord, get you access to our daily articles. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code Win Daily. So we do a recap of yesterday. Our picks went one and two. Uh, Duran just missed his number. Uh, he finished with eight fantasy points. We were looking for eight and a half. Uh, and Brandon Lowe, uh, he ended up with a run uh, in the first inning, but after that didn't do much. Uh, and he also left the game early with an injury. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, if you play JRAM, especially in DFS, you had a good day because he had a really strong day at the plate. Uh, we'll look to improve upon yesterday's number and hopefully go 3-0 today. Let's go ahead and jump in. First one that we're going to be going with today is going to be Jordan Alvarez of the Houston Astros. We're going to be going with the Moore on his 7.5 hitter fantasy score. Uh, I do feel like this is uh, with this matchup, his prop should be higher, so I feel like there's some value here. Uh, Suarez has been pretty bad versus lefties uh, as they have a 363 Woba against him over the last month. Uh, and that's really not too far off uh, from his season numbers. Make matters even better for Alvarez. Really lines up well uh, with Suarez from a pitch selection. He's mostly a fastball cutter. Uh, he, he normally throws fastballs and cutters to lefties. Uh, and this is a pitch that Alvarez just absolutely annihilates. Uh, Alvarez has hit this number with ease in two of his last three and should hit it again with ease today. I wouldn't be surprised to see him take Suarez deep. So we're going to go with the more for Jordan Alvarez. Next one that we're going to be going with is going to be Austin Riley of the Atlanta Braves. We're going to be going with the more on his one and a half total bases. Uh, love this spot for Riley today. Uh, Nestor Cortez has been nothing more than average this season. Uh, and he's also been pretty bad versus righties as they have a 209 ISO against him and a 354 Woba uh, against him over the last 30 days. Just really bad numbers. If you look at Riley, he's pretty hot at the plate right now. He's got nine hits in his last 20 at-bats, and he also has a 1.422 OPS over the last week. Uh, he's typically a lefty crusher, and with the weather still really hot uh, in New York, I expect the ball to absolutely fly out of Yankee Stadium. Uh, a homer is not out of the question from him, too. Uh, so we're going to go with the more for Austin Riley. Last one that we're going to go with is going to be Wyatt Langford of the Texas Rangers. We're going to be going with the more on his one and a half hits plus runs plus RBI prop. Uh, I'm going to be stacking the Rangers quite a bit today in DFS and also using them a bunch on prize picks. Uh, one of the reasons is due to the play uh, of Langford as he's been uh, super hot. Uh, and the matchup against uh, Marsh, Alec Marsh today. Uh, Marsh has been pretty bad. Uh, he's got a 70 RA over the last month. Uh, and it's actually been righties that have been doing him in as they have a nearly 300 ISO against him over the last month. Uh, again, Langford swinging a hot stick. He's got three straight multi-hit games, uh, and he's got hits in four straight. Over those four games, he would have hit this prop as well. So look for him to continue to uh, with his stellar play uh, against Marsh today. So we're going to go with the more for Wyatt Langford. If we do a recap of what we're doing, we're going to be going with the more on the seven and a half uh, header fantasy score for Jordan Alvarez. We're going to be going with the more on the one and a half total bases for Austin Riley. And we're going to be going with the more on the one and a half hits plus runs plus RBI for Wyatt Langford. So those are my favorite three. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about your own picks, make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Always happy to answer any questions that you may have. Good luck, everybody. Let's go three and zero today.